Hi there, Will here, and today I have five frames left on uh, my RB because I went out and made some portraits of strangers and I got one so nice that I kind of just had to <laughs> give up on uh, the stranger portraits for the remainder of the roll. And since I figured I uh, don't want to just blast away photos for no reason, I decided I'd come to a wildlife sanctuary that I've been to a number of times before and see if I could get maybe a photo of a parrot or something. Anyway, before we wander around here, I figure I'll show you the portraits because hopefully there are a couple really nice ones. Yeah, man, what's up? What's up with uh, the mushrooms? Mushrooms are on sale, bruh. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you with your mushrooms? <laughs> sure, it's okay. What's your name? Ayanda. Ayanda? Ayanda. That's yeah. sick. I know an Ayanda as well. <laughs> no smiling, straight face. Perfect. So I need to develop the picture because it's a film, it's an old okay, camera okay. and then if I can find you again I can bring you, I'll make a print, I'll make yeah. a small print for you and I'll bring I'll give it to you. Maybe I'll take another one of the the mushroom there yes. and you make them yourself? Yes. What cement. are they made out of? Clay? Cement. Oh awesome! Cement. Wow. That's sick. Oh. Ayanda the mushroom man. Yeah, the... <laughs> Cheers Ayanda, have a good one. Hiya. Hi. Sorry to bother. I have an no odd question for you. Yeah. Would you mind if I photographed you and your son as separate uh, portraits? I'm a photographer. I wander around here making people's portraits and I think the picture of you sitting here with this beautiful golden light falling to the side and then your son standing with his fishing net would sit really nicely together. I can send them to you if you like. I'll go out there. It's, that's fine. I'm William, by the way. Okay. Nice to meet you. Exactly. I'm always wandering around, and the light right now is just amazing. And seeing it's a beautiful scene of you like sitting watching your son. I'm sure my mom did that for me when I was. <laughs> no, that's, that's part of modern life. Uh, if you're comfortable, you can take your mask off. I don't want to see your face, but I can see people's faces in the photo. You can just sit in the sun and look at the sun. No, I can't. You're here by me. Where are you? I can also try to hide the eye. Can my ear be still as if I was to smile? Just smile. Okay, just smile. It feels like it's easier to draw someone to say, but you don't smile, then you smile. Dit is perfect. Kijk. Baie mooi. En nou een van... Hij... Ja, precies zo. Net zo graag, ja, perfect. Eén, twee, drie. Jo, wat vang je wind aan per vee. Baie dankie. Geniet die dag verder. Baie. I'm packing it up. I'm not gonna do any better than that. That's the pinnacle of my asking strangers for portraits career. I hope those portraits turned out well. It uh, felt good in the moment, so they're probably going to be decent. And uh, you rejoin me back at the bird sanctuary. This dude right there thought he was slick, giving me the slip because he put his tail feathers down about three seconds ago but about four seconds ago I took a picture of him 30th of a second at f11 and I think I actually got him
This is the first of uh, many uh, little extra adventures I get to go on as a result of the lovely folks on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Where I'm putting extra stuff all the time. There should be a second uh, image breakdown of Van Vakestorp up there now and a little video story for members. I just blasted through uh, three pictures on uh, this peacock scenario here because I think I might have got something really, really nice. I took a landscape one of uh, just the, the peacock with its feathers extended, which could look quite nice and painterly. And then I tried to get a shot of the one in the background in focus with the one in the foreground looking to the side out of focus. Uh, and I messed up the first one, but I think the second one might just be perfect. So I guess we'll see. But I'm quite excited about that, to be honest. It felt very uh, special. It's not exactly easily recreatable. Oh, and uh, that is the end of the role of Portra, which likely marks the end of this video. I'll be reflecting on the pictures when we get home, but I think I might still hang out here a bit and shoot a roll of uh, Palm 100 that Asher sent me from America. Well, I am really stoked with how that stuff turned out. I had a feeling about the, the portrait of the, the mom and her son when I made it. It's just, I mean, the light was absolutely glorious. The only thing I was worried about was because I shot it uh, at 125th on the RB. And on occasion, if I have bad luck at 125th of a second, things can still have shutter shake. I don't shoot anything below 125 on that camera because you get shutter shake if you go below that. But anyway. That picture rendered pretty much how I wanted it to. I mean, the kid had a bit of a worried expression in the moment that I made the picture because he got blown by the wind at that very second, but it almost leans itself nicely to the photo because it might have felt a bit too uh, contrived if he was standing there superposed. I mean, I tried not to pose him because it'd probably be quite tricky to pose a child that's never been photographed formally before <laughs> in a way that seemed anything besides uh, forced, so. I'm glad it turned out the way it did. And I'm also glad that I uh, photographed his mom alongside him because that uh, diptych thing, I sort of came up with on the spot because generally if there's a parent and their child, I'll ask the parent to make their photograph as an in to photograph their child because it's a bit weird if you go up to a parent and just ask to photograph their child. And it worked out because I think those two sit together really nicely by pure coincidence. And uh, that shot of the peacock, with uh, the blurry peacock in front of it. The first one I made was actually the one I like now. The second one I made was the one where the peacock was slightly uh, away from the one behind its face. Because when I made the first one, I knew that they were directly in front, but then directly after that, I decided maybe that wasn't the right call because uh, the back one's face would be obscured, but it kind of worked out perfectly because the back one's face is obscured up to the beak, and then the front one's beak sort of juts out from the side, and it looks almost like one of those uh, fancy studio effect pictures where someone's got like two people's faces next to each other or something like that, but it's just uh, some peacocks in a bird sanctuary. I'm just really stoked on them. I might make the peacock ones black and white. I'll throw it up here now uh, as a test, just in case to see what it might look like because the colors aren't quite there yet. I feel like I'll get them to where they need to be though. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so, so much to all the people who have uh, contributed to my ongoing video endeavors on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Check it out if you're interested in seeing some extra stuff, videos and text posts and other things that I come up with along the way. Next week's video ideally is going to be entirely as a result of uh, people helping me uh, make things and it might be really, 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 really cool if uh, things line up. Anyway, 
I'll see you then. And this guy screeches around the side of us into the middle of the busy road, turns around to face us in oncoming traffic coming from the other direction of him. He's sitting there facing us. He's got his video camera out now. So the only person who's illegally, quote unquote, not even really illegally, but without consent filming anyone in this whole story is him filming us at this point. And he's saying, I'm looking at you. I've got you. I'm going to kill you.